So how do you make a cell bigger in Google Sheets? So if you right click on a column, you'll see an option to resize column. And then you can enter a new column within pixels. So we could say 250, for example. We can also do fit to data, which in this case, there is no data. Or you can simply go to the right hand side of a column right here by the letter and you see the cursor turns into two arrows and then you can click and drag to resize. Just like that. You can do the same thing with a row. You can click and resize. You can do 50, for example. 250 and so forth. And then you can do the same thing here. If you put your mouse right there between the two and the three, you can click and drag there as well. You can also resize multiple columns at the same time. You just click and drag here. You can select multiple columns. And then any of these columns, then you can click and drag and they'll all be resized. Or when you have them all selected, you can right click, resize columns, and change that width there. And then the rows works the exact same way. Another thing you can do if you just want to resize one cell and not the whole column, one thing you can potentially do is merge a couple of cells. So let's say we want this one to be bigger. We could just select these cells and click merge. And now this cell is bigger than these. So that might be one way to do that to make it wider. And then you can do the same thing if you want to make it taller as well and merge multiple. If you want to undo it, you can just reclick this and then it will undo that. And so you can either do anything within a single column. You can do across multiple columns just like that. And so if you want to do both at the same time, just select all the ones that you want to merge and then click merge. Now, if you just want to make them wider or taller and you want to do multiple cells. So, for example, let's take this range of cells. We want to make these all wider than the surrounding. We can do just a horizontal merge. And now you can see these cells are three columns wide. Or we can do the reverse and do vertical and then make these taller. All right, so let's look at some sample data here and just look at how this looks within this context. And so we have some names here and you can see they're kind of running over the end of these and same thing as products and these notes are really bad. So we could just resize these and one thing we can do here is we select these three columns. If you double click, this will automatically resize to fit the contents of each column. Which for the name of the products isn't too bad, but when we get to the notes, that does make it really wide. So let's undo for now. Maybe we'll just do it on these two. So I select these two columns, double click here when it turns into those double arrows, and I'll resize those on these. However, let's just make it a little wider. Maybe I'll do 250, something like that. But then instead of making this really wide to fit it all this way, what we're going to do is actually wrap the text. So up here we see a text wrapping shortcut and what i'm going to do is click on this one which is wrap so currently it's on overflow and then wrap is like this or clip just cuts it off so let's change it to wrap here and what you'll see is now each row resizes to fit the amount of text in order notes so that is a way to automatically resize based on the contents now one thing to note is we were just talking about resizing rows. So on rows, we can do fit to data or we can specify row height. So one thing to keep in mind is if we have a specified row height instead of fit to data, if we do this wrap, it's kind of acting like a clip. So the clip is slightly different because it cuts it off and the wrap will cut off at a word but that won't display all of it. And so to undo that, if you're running into that issue, just select those rows, go to resize, and then click fit to data, and then they will resize accordingly. All right, so that's it for today's video. Make sure to check out our channel for more videos on both Google Sheets and AppScript. As always, have a great day.